so crypto, so what's the potential for crypto right now, right? So according to the World Economic Forum, the WEF, they believe that by 2027, 10% of the world's GDP, gross domestic product will be tokenized. What does that bring us to? That means crypto can get to a market cap of about 9 trillion, let's say 10 trillion, right? Crypto right now is at a market cap of, let me see, let me pull this up here. Give me one second. So market cap for crypto is 667 million. So if we're looking at 10, we can 15 X from here. Yeah, so 10 X easily, right? That's going based off what they think, right? No, and they ain't even in crypto. They're not in crypto. I mean, they're not crypto moon boys like us, right? So we think we can go to the moon and beyond. I mean, right? But a 15X is really a 150X if you're in altcoins, <laughs> right? Because Bitcoin, is, honestly, Bitcoin went from like, yes, it did well from 3,000 to uh, now 23,000, right? Not bad, not bad, you know, like a 7X basically, right? But I mean, alts also moving. I mean, they've been doing a lot more than 7X, right? So that's where the long tail, that, that's how you get that Moon Lambo money. Um, but yeah. How else can we support and be linked to token metrics? Big things. Uh, you can support by spreading the word, get your friends to subscribe at tokenmetrics.com. Uh, also have them watch the videos, the podcast, the newsletter, spread the word, get them into crypto. Uh, this become a crypto evangelist. Okay, all right. Um, Ian, how many of your past projects were done? Sorry, how many of your last investments were done based on token metrics? Uh, so I got a P network based on token metrics, synthetics. Uh, Helium, well, Helium was kind of like our, uh, I've been bullish on Helium since 2018. Um, Ether, I mean, I've always had Ether. Yeah, I'll say P Network was based off of token metrics, SNX, based off of the quant grade, the yearly. Um, Matic Network, I've been bullish on that since like 2018. But yeah, I mean, uh, I, I use it. I like token, token metrics. Token metrics will follow the same route as Coinbase, maybe, or Coin. Hopefully, we can join in your success. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so we're a company. Um, we we have equity investors in the company. So, I mean, a pathway is a possible IPO. Um, in terms of crypto and coins or tokens, can't really comment on that. Uh, but I mean, we are bullish on crypto, the crypto space as a whole. Uh, that's what my legal team <laughs> has advised. Um, and we like to keep our options open, right? So we'll keep them as open as can be. Uh, but we, we do like to, to, how do I put this? We like to be pillars of the crypto community, okay? Uh, so we'll keep our options open. Uh, but uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. Uh, that's all I can say. But hey, let me know what you think, right? What do you guys think we should do for token metrics? Because 2021, it's going to be quite the year. It's going to be quite the year. As mentioned, we have lots in store. So just uh, just enjoying, you know, enjoying the 20, 2020 has been a great year. We're, we're wrapping it up. Uh, as mentioned, we have the 12 days of token metrics. So speaking of that, tomorrow we have an AMA, 100X show with uh, Manip Ali, uh, the CEO of Blackstack. So for anybody out there who's an investor in Blackstack, be sure to, to tune in. Let me see if I can get the, get the date here. Maybe I cannot. Uh, well, I mean, it's tomorrow. Sorry, I want to get the time. I think it's like around 4.30. Uh, so the live stream will be
4 30 p.m eastern time that's new york time to all our global uh, audience yeah so tune in tune in bring your questions uh, i think it's going to be fun block stack is a legit project um, so Manip will be trying to build the case for how they're because they're basically building a blockchain that is secured by bitcoin and bringing dApps essentially to bitcoin is what uh, he'll be covering so it should be a, a good one